And President Bala Ahmed Tinubu has implored heads of national drug law enforcement agencies in Africa to renew the fight against substance abuse and illicit drug trafficking in their respective countries. Details in this report. President Tinubu vehemently warned that the African continent would remain in chains till it breaks free from the shackles of the criminal enterprises of drug barons and syndicates of illicit drugs. The Nigerian leader sounded the warning in Abuja when he declared open the 31st meeting of the heads of National Drug Law Enforcement Agencies, Africa. In his keynote address titled Rising Above the Drug Threat, the president, who was represented by Vice President Kashim Shetima at the event, observed that Africa was at the mercy of a threat that knows neither race, geography, gender, nor social class. I appeal to you to see this conference as a beacon of hope and a catalyst for positive change across our continent. If we don't dismantle the criminal enterprises that threaten our future and build a brighter tomorrow for all Africans will remain in chains in a disease and amoral world, as will our children and our great-grandchildren. He further stressed the need for the anti-narcotics agencies to consolidate established contacts, strengthen operational existing partnerships and cooperation among them at the sub-regional and regional levels. So we must prioritize prevention, education, and rehabilitation to empower our youth with knowledge and opportunities. We must steer them away from the treacherous path of drug abuse and trafficking and protect our economy from the consequences of their actions. This administration will continue to provide the necessary support, motivation, and tools for the NDLEA to fulfill its mandate. We understand the connection between the success of the fight against substance abuse and illicit drug trafficking and the attainment of a number of goals on our socio-economic and security agenda. Welcoming guests earlier, Chairman of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Brigadier General Buba Mawa, retired, stated the stakeholders' commitment to addressing the world's drug problem. He noted that Nigeria will continue to uphold the objectives of multilateral organizations dedicated to combating drug trafficking and related crimes. He emphasized the need for global partnerships in addressing drug trafficking and other vices, noting that world's drug problem cannot be effectively tackled by individual entities. The first meeting will indeed provide an opportunity for us to raise the bar and break new grounds in different areas of our operations and collaborative efforts. I am as excited as a lot of us in this call are to make presentations, listen to others, and share experiences that will positively shape our operations and redefine our cooperation at the end of this conference. Speakers at the opening session of the meeting include the executive director and the country representative of the United Nations Office on Drug and Crime, Mr. Gada Wali and Mr. Oliver Stope, the commandant of the National Institute for Security Studies, Mr. Ayodele Adeleke, representative of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Latif Fagbemi, SEN, among others. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.